Hi, I'm Jana from How to Enjoy Wine, and we're going to look at rosé and food pairing. Okay, well, rosé wines are absolutely fantastic with food pairing. Um, you get lots of different kind of sweetness levels, like variations in, in wine styles. And if you want to know more about that, uh, the different styles and how to spot the different styles, check out my introduction to rosé video. But here we're going to talk about food pairing. So for food pairing, it's good to think of foods along a scale. So at this end, we've got, um, say, scallops, lightly cooked, subtle, and you go right up into um, steaks and venison, really, really rich, rich, rich flavours. Um, and rosés, in the main, say, they've got more subtle flavours than, say, a red wine or an oak chardonnay. So they do sit more at this end. But even so, they're really, really flexible within this. So I've even got sparkling rosé. Absolutely fantastic with fried foods. So it really cuts through the fattiness of the fried foods. That works with, with all types of sparkling wine, in fact. Um, this, but this would be a real go-to from that point of view because, because it's a rosé and you get wonderful red fruit flavours as well, as well as a little bit of citrus. And you've got the sparkles to kind of cut through. It has enough flavour intensity to work with things like fish and chips and fried chicken. Um, it also works really well with uh, creamy sauces because, again, it cuts through that creaminess, creaminess that's like fattiness. Um, something like a Provencal rosé or a Provencal style, which is the English one is made in, they're my absolute go-to for summer uh, rosés for a barbecue. Um, although they don't have really intense flavours, and some barbecue foods can have really intense flavours, they really complement it really well. And because they have high acidity, because they're really refreshing, they're nice on a summer's day. They're nice in a summer's evening with those combination of foods. Now, you can get sweeter styles. So a white Zinfandel will always be sweeter. A Rose d'Anjou will always be off dry. And, and slightly sweeter wines can work really well with spicy foods. And in fact, rosés in general are a really, really interesting white style of wine to have with spicy foods. Um, the slight sweetness, if you go in that direction, that, that can often work well with quite hot foods. They also are, tend to be lower alcohol, and that as well is really good with, with hot foods because uh, the heat of the alcohol doesn't, doesn't become overpowering with the, the heat of the spice. Now we've got an interesting one here at the end. You can see it's really quite dark. It's almost, it's almost like a really light red, and that's where it sits. And it's an unusual wine style. It's called the Claret from Bordeaux. And it is like a, a, an intense rosé and a really light, light fruity red, and it's completely dry. So the color doesn't tell you anything about how sweet it's gonna be. Um, and this is absolutely, this is my go-to summer wine because it goes with almost any type of food you will have over the summer. Um, I love it with a meaty terrine, um, charcuterie, fantastic with a barbecue, chill it down, just drink it on its own. Really, really lots and lots of red fruit flavours, lots of strawberry, lots of raspberry, a um, little bit of texture, absolutely fantastic. So I think you can see there's lots of choices when it comes to rosé. Experiment. You tell me what's your favourite style of rosé. We all have different ones, but push the boat out, try a new one, try it with different styles of food. I think you'll find it absolutely fantastic. And if you want to know the best wines with different types of food, um, like steak and chicken, then check out my Best Wines With series. And if you want to know all things wine and to check out my online wine store, look to howtoenjoywine.com.